Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear, and today I figured we'll do a comparison between the Luminous SST40 uh, and the Cree XML2. Um, so basically, I've got two lights that are exactly the same, except for the LEDs, I guess. So, uh, Eagle Eye X6s, and um, as we buy them on AliExpress, they only come in twos. Unless um, Eagle Eye changed it, but I doubt it. Can you guys tell which was which? Actually, you won't be able to see that well from that angle. But, um, yeah, so basically, they should pretty much be identical. Um, spring bypasses on the back and front of both. Um, only difference should really be the LED. Um, they should both have the BLF A6 driver unless I put an X6 driver inside one of them. But that shouldn't really make a difference because they're both running direct drive still. So um, it'll be a pretty interesting shootout. You know, both got like the same AR coat of glass. Um, pretty much everything. Only thing I can think of is the switch is different on the one with the XML2 because I... Um, Put the lit towel cap inside that one so i'll show you guys around the lights and then we'll do some test all right so both lights are worn as you would expect i guess with me um that's the xml2 there and that is the luminous sst40 um they do have different centering rings on them um i should probably be using a xml centering ring for both but i'm not because i don't think i have another one spare actually i should i'll have a look Maybe I'll change it before we get started. So, um, yeah, that's the SST40 there. So, um, when I hooked this SST40 up, um, it actually started smoking. So, um, I'm not sure what was going on there. I know why it would be smoking, because it's too hot. But, um, sometimes it might just be burning off excess flux or whatnot. Uh, it appears to have stopped now. It could have been burning off, um, even, um, heat sink. Uh, oh what's it called thermal thermal paste so yeah I'm not too concerned with that because I've had LEDs that have smoked before and they've lived for a while eventually they will burn out faster because you are running too much current through them and they're not dissipating the heat fast enough but um I don't think that that's happening in this case because it's on a uh, proper direct thermal path board so yeah um so I guess not much to say you know like both lights are pretty much exactly the same except for the LEDs um, let's get some tests started, I guess. I've got my lux meter here, so I guess, you know, we can do a ceiling bounce test first. So, if we were to maybe, say, place a lux meter there, um, and then put the lights over here or something, um, then we'll be able to see how much lux it gets pretty easy and see which one's brighter. Let's get that started. Alright guys, so first up is the XML2 with a um nothing it's the um xml2 u2 bin so i'm guessing that that's direct drive now yeah it is two three four so not bad you know 87 88 lux it's pretty good effort um when i do my actual ceiling bounce test i usually equate 16.6 .6 lumens per lux so it's going up now, it's 89. So um, this would equate to, oh, I don't even know, I'd have to use a calculator. Hmm. But that doesn't really count now because we're not doing, usually my ceiling bounce test is done on the other desk and it's a bit more, more calibrated. This one, it's not. Um, I'll grab the Luminous SST40 and see how it goes. So this is the Luminous SST40. It should be on mode four, I think. So five, Six. That's not direct drive yet. That should be direct drive now. Holy shit. Wow. Look at the lux difference there. Far out. That's a very, very big difference. Oh, wow. Um, I might try and find my heavy gauge wire and we'll check out how much current's coming out of this thing because this thing has absolutely demolished that XML2. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright guys, so before we go on and um, do a, uh, what was I going to do, a current test. I think I've got to go inside and get the cables anyway. Um, basically, we'll talk about the XML2 and the SST40. So they're both the same size dies, um, 5x5. I believe I actually have 
um, two spare XM, uh, SSD 40 and XM, XML 2 out here. So um, when I was going on about it in the Jetbeam E40R, because like these SSD 40s, like if you want to overdrive them, they are very, very good. So basically, <clears throat> let's just say um, Luminous rate the SSD 40 up to 5 amps of running current, while Cree only rate the XML 2 at 3 amps of current draw. So basically, at 5.5 amps to about 6 amps, you'll probably get about the same lumens as you would on an XML2 on our SSD40. So you know, you might get 16, 1800 lumens somewhere around about there, but then that's it, it stops. While the SSD40 will keep on going and give you maybe 2,500 lumens, which is like pretty much, that moth just scared me, it's pretty much like 1000 lumens extra that you're getting. Which like a thousand lumens is like a whole other torch. That's like carrying around a, a whole other torch inside your pocket, like a proper torch. So it is like a pretty big difference. So the thing about these um, bigger size LEDs, right? They're five by five mils. So that five by five mils gives you. Ugh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> that, that was a big nasty one. Uh, so that five point five mils. Um, gives you a bigger pad for the heat to soak through. So let's just say a Cree XPL2 is 3.5 by 3.5. Technically speaking, because the dome is taller, there's still a lot more, about the same LED as on an XML2, but the actual pad itself is a uh, smaller size. So that's why if you're into LEDs, you'll know about reflowing or flowing onto uh, uh, XML pad is different to a XPL pad. <clears throat> so, um, I forgot what I was going to say now. So um, basically, yeah, the um, those those XMLs are they're, they're a lot bigger, so they can handle more heat. So the XML2 is pretty much the same size as the XHP50. The 50 stands for a 50 mil die, and you know you can get out 4,000 lumens from an XHP52.2 for maybe four and a half. Um, so you know, like that size can handle a lot of heat. Uh, but yeah, so basically the XML, it was a good LED when it came out. It still is good. 1000 lumens is still a respectable number. Um, the XML2 is still good, but for some reason, um, when Cree designed it, even if you got it on, on a direct thermal path board, you direct drive it, you're not going to get these sorts of numbers. Um, basically, the first thing that's going to go is going to be the bonding wires. And, I, and I've had myself, I've had bonding wires burn up on me by running it on direct drive. Um, so it is what it is, you know, they're not meant to be overdrawn, so you can't really blame Cree, well, you're not meant to put through that much current, so, like, it's your own fault, but, like, it would be good to see Cree maybe release, like, an XML3 or something else, you know, because this Luminous SST40, uh, it's a real challenger to the, um, XML line. It even challenges the XPL, so the only LED that Cree has that is a single die is pretty much the XPL that can keep up with the SSD40. Um, and um, which is quite surprising because you would think that the XPL couldn't remove as much heat as quickly as the XML, but because of other features in the LED itself, it makes up for that for that um, heat or for the for the thermal mass problem because that's what it would be. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know. So like to me like um, I paid like five dollars maybe five fifty or something for the uh, SST forties on a direct thermal path board from K Domain and um, when I brought this XML that was inside here I brought it from um, oh, what I called from Cutter from Cutter Electronics in Melbourne Australia so next city down um, and that cost me like ten dollars or something and like yeah. So that's already like half the, not really half the price, but let's just say you're saving three or four dollars in getting better performance. Um, <clears throat> because you are running such massive current through these SST 40s, they're probably not as stable, and there's more chance that you know you could accidentally overcurrent them and that they could just burn out. So that is also a chance, but like if you're saving that much money, it's not too bad of a chance. Um, yeah. I actually do have two here. Um, I'll take them out of the pack and I'll show you guys what I mean. Alright guys, so here we go, um, side by side. Um, I know the camera it looks washed out, but um, 
I can't really fix that because there's just a lighting situation in here. It's like 2 a.m. actually. So um, this is the SST40 here. From what I can see, actually, let me, let me just double check because they look exactly the same. SST40 XML2. Um, for the mix, I threw in a XHP 50.2, and this is a XPG3. So XPG3 is pretty much the same size die as the um, XPL. XPL has a little bit of a bigger dome. So you see how the XML2 is um, 50 by 50, but it, the XP the XHP50 looks bigger because it's got a bigger dome. So let's just say if we were to measure them, I don't have my digital calipers out here. I've only got these ones. So that measures that, which is pretty much 50 mils. Yeah, it's 50, 50 mils. Um, next up, we'll do the, um, that's the XHP, uh, sorry, that's the XPL. Too many, too many different names here. Uh, this is the Luminous here. It smells like petrol in here now. Ooh, ooh. Bastard. Okay, so you can see that is basically at 50 mils there. Um, this should also be 50 mils, although it looks bigger, but we'll test it out. This is the XHP 50.2. So you can see now exactly the same size, although it does look bigger because it does have a bigger dome. And this should be uh, 35 by 35, just about 3.5 mils by 3.5 mils. And you can see it's definitely smaller, pretty much just at about 35 mils. So um, that's that. So yeah, um, probably don't have to add this bit into the video, but I just thought I'll show you guys that don't know too much about LEDs, um, about the different sizings and kind of how they work. All right, guys. So now we're outside here. Um, I've got the um, Cree XML2 on. It's a U2 binning, um, cold white, I think. It kind of looks neutral white, right? I'm pretty sure it's cold white. But it does have a pretty nice tint. So, yeah. Um, you know, you can see it's super bright. This is like no slouch. Um, 15, 1600 lumens. So, it still does do very, very well. Uh, we'll go to the tree at 100 meters. So, it lights up the tree. Pretty easy. So, you can see it is bright. Uh, no doubt about that. And then um, I'll grab the Luminous SSD 40 in a sec, and we'll see how that does. It only started to get a little bit warm now, still fairly cool the light. Alright guys, now we've got the uh, Luminous SSD 40 on, or the Eagle Eye X6 with the Luminous SSD 40. Um, you know, straight away I think you can see that the beam does look a little bit throwier. I'm not really too sure why, when the die size is pretty much the same, um, but the um, SST40 does actually outthrow the um, XML2 because I think it is a tad smaller die. So I'm not even sure what setting this is on, but still on low. So next up, that should be the direct drive there, I'll be guessing. Let me just double check. So yeah, yeah. So you can see. It is friggin' bright, like crazy bright, like insanely bright. So to the tree at 100 meters, it blitzes it. Like compared to the XML2, it's freaking crazy. Um, it does get a lot, lot hotter, but like this um, Eagle Eye X6 is already starting to heat up really, really badly. Like, it's not too hot to hold yet, but after about 40 seconds, you can really start to feel it. Uh, yeah. So, it just stepped down there. So, that would be the 30 second mark, because these um, BLF drivers have a step down from turbo after 30 seconds. So, you can see, you know, even on the second highest out output, it's um, still really, really bright. But we can step it back up. So bright. Look at that. And, you know, you can see the tint is a little bit cooler, but it's not too bad. It's pretty good. Um, we'll compare them both side by side and see how they go. 
All right, guys, I've got the uh, XML2 on now, the Eagle Eye X6 with the XML2. So this is both of them on level two. I've got it on the number four group setting. So you can see they're both pretty much put out the same amount of power there. Um, you can see a fairly big difference in the tin, actually. The um, XML2 looks a lot warmer. So that's both of them on direct drive. So now you can see them side by side. I'm pretty sure that the XML2 is a 6500K tint, but this SST40 might be 7000K. So a little bit of a difference. You can see like the SST40 is like crazy, crazy bright. Insanely bright. You know, both the same lights, both the same drivers, both got spring bypasses back and front, both running high drain cells. Look at the difference. It's insane. So we'll go to the tree at 100 meters. So that's the SST40 there, and that's the XML2 there. So a huge, huge difference there. Alright guys, so yeah, so that's basically the um, SST40 versus the um, XML2. Um, you know, with some of the newer bins, like the U4 bin XML2, I believe I brought a U4 bin from um, K Domain with this. Uh, what light did I put it in? Tick tock, tick. Um, I don't even know. But I already put it in another light. Did I de-dome it? I don't know what I've done, but it's already in another light. Um, so yeah, um... You know, you can't really beat this SST40 if you're looking at a single die LED. It's a fucking monster. Like, seriously, it's it's insane. Like two and a half thousand lumens. Like, you know that XML2 in that Eagle Eye X6. That is already work. That's brighter than most street street lights, unless you get like a like a XHP series um, LED. And the SST40 just makes it look like it's not even on. So, um, yeah, so if you're just getting into modding or whatnot, or you buy a torch or a flashlight with an SSD 40 in it and you don't know about that LED and you find this video, you will want to be buying that torch because this thing is fucking bright. I don't know what else to say. Um, like, it is what it is. It's a machine. All right, guys, um, I hope I kind of educated you guys a little bit, like at least, and I didn't just waste your 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, if you get a chance, buy some of these LEDs, uh, de de dome them because they de dome well and like they get double the candela rating than they do with the dome. So you'll get like 1600 lumens of output while getting a pretty good thrower. That is insane. All right, guys, so um, I guess that's all I've got to say is that Luminous is not paying me, but if they want to pay me, I'm right here. I've got my hands up. Alright guys, so as usual, um, thanks for watching, like it and subscribe. I was supposed to say that the other way around. Like and subscribe and thanks for watching guys.